Good evening. I'd like to call to order the regularly scheduled meeting of the Jefferson County Board of Education on Monday, November 27th. And Ms. Schaefer, I understand you have some guests to do the Pledge of Allegiance. I do. I brought three of our shining pandas. One of them is Jovi Earl. She is in kindergarten. I have Francesca Sarasoli. She is in first grade. And Chloe Dingus in second grade. So we're going to inch forward just a little bit so we can lead the pledge. <laughs> Come on up with him, Mom. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Let me slide over here behind him so that you can see. There you go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Mr. Solstice, I believe we have some business partners. We do. It's always nice to see the kids. I saw them out in the hall. They were so nervous today. I said, just get the first two words and you'll be okay. And I think they did all right. So they were good. Yeah, we do have three business partners on the agenda for tonight. Unfortunately, one had to cancel out on us last minute. She just couldn't make it today. So we'll have to re sign Hair Works with Paige Jackson another time. We do have two, though, for Ranson Elementary. Our first is going to be the M Street Bakery, a new bakery down in Ranson. Representing them is going to be Marshall McCormick and his wife Nancy. Of course, Ms. Corbett's here from Ranson Elementary, so go up here and uh, sign on the line, please. He's been very busy with Thanksgiving, I'm sure. He's got a great little bakery down there, and he's finally recovered and be able to get some rest. Taking orders for Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Can personally vouch for the good cheese sandwiches. We just want to thank Marshall for um, for coming um, to us and uh, wanting to be a part of Branson Elementary. Um, I mean, I could make it down there in probably uh, a minute and a half. <laughs> time that. And um, just we're excited that not only just being a business partner for Ranson Elementary, but just coming on for new business for the city of Ranson. And uh, just inspiring our kids to see if you work hard and come back into the community, you can give. We went to school together. Mm -hmm. So for him to come back and I go, you know, into his baker, I said, how did you learn She's how to make all that? Than me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just have a good hairdresser. <laughs> That's all that is. <laughs> We can get something done too. <laughs> but no, you're fine. But uh, we're just so excited, and um, he has just, um, you know, already shown uh, partnership by coming in with our business partner and uh, breakfasts, and just supplying the breakfast goodies for us. And we were just, you know, we're all about food grants and too, and we were just very excited about that. And uh, and then also with. Uh, American Education uh, Week that we um, had pastries for, uh, he provided for the staff and things too. So uh, we've started off really good <laughs> in a sweet way and uh, want to continue with that and hope that we can also share and that the kids can mm -hmm. come down and tour the business mm -hmm. and they have you know, the business yeah. runs up. So we're very excited mm -hmm. for so the new business of Ransom. I'll let you sign that one with this company and I'll do this one. Couldn't get him to cook for me for Thanksgiving, but we're, we're working on that. <laughs> That's the next level of this. We've got Christmas coming up, so tell Marshall to step up with his game. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so. All right. Do you have anything you like to say? No, I couldn't be happier being where we are. I think it's a great spot, and I'm really, really happy having the Ranson Elementary School so close. And you know, I see the kids and their parents coming to and from. Mm -hmm. 
so that's fun. In fact, we extended, we originally were open until 3, but we extended until 4 so we can get that coming and going. After school, so we nice. hit that after school hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Don't go anywhere, Miss Corbett. You got one more here. Right. Okay. No, just hang on to it. Okay. okay, we have another business partner who's really no stranger because he's already partnered with several other schools. Um, <laughs> Mr. Brian Bradford from Roy Rogers. I know uh, they've already got some plans with Rance Elementary and, and mentioning uh, American Education Week. I remember Roy Rogers did a really nice thing for all teachers just this past year where it was pretty much you know, free lunch if you went in there just showed them your IDs. So that was really nice of them. So um, Mr. Um, Brian Bradford from Roy Rogers. Yes, Brian's been working with us since last year as part of uh, helping an unofficial business partner member, but he's been coming and supporting and giving incentives to the kids and to the staff. And once again, we were very pleased that he also wanted to reach out to the, uh, to the staff and we had this whole smorgasbord of food for us for <laughs> our American Education Week and uh, you know when chicken comes we get excited so uh, we had uh, you know opened up his arms and and his store to us and they were very excited about that but just the part with getting families to be together and providing meals and things that promote families to come in to eat uh, and uh, share uh, a meal so he has all types of incentives that he has put in place mm -hmm. in the school so we're very excited yeah, we've about done that. some uh, student incentive stuff with them we also did um, it was during your back to school night yes. I think we did mm -hmm. something for you guys too right yes yes um, and then uh, uh, like you had mentioned with the um, teacher's lunch, we did an, uh, uh, we went together and did some chicken with some side items and stuff to provide lunch for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we just want to keep growing on that, you know, so um, we've been uh, starting to go to some of the business partner meetings that they hold at the schools to, you know, see what all is going on with the school events and how we can help them out as well with that so mm -hmm. um, you know donations whether it be like uh, cups for them that they need mm -hmm. or you know any anything that would be food related or or uh, you know maybe like a, a gift card giveaway or something yes. like that so different things that we can that. work together on okay. so very much yeah. okay Once again, you see the common thread here, food. <laughs> oh. Okay. So. And now I found out where the, uh, the, the breakfast goodies were coming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we've got breakfast, oh, lunch, so we're going to have dinners coming in here pretty soon. So. Okay. All right. Well, we appreciate your support and thank sure, you for being yeah, officially you. now part of yeah. Ransom Elementary Business Partner. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. I'm not going to pause. You're not done yet. I know. We do have some recognitions tonight, and we'd like to begin. Oh, are you going to introduce them? I, I can if you would like to. I'm you can. Sorry, I was you, just going to. I know. Moved to that podium. I like did. You had a mission. I did. Yes. Where are you going with that? It's been so long since I was here. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm Sandy Spinagle. <laughs> I work with you. Um, but I would first like to call up representatives, Dr. Didden from the health department, who has also brought along John Breslin, uh, who's the chairman of his board, and two of the nurses that they're going to be recognizing this evening. Um, so I will invite you all to come up, and I'm going to turn it over to um, Dr. Didden and Mr. Breslin to make this presentation. Thank you. Uh, 
Thanks so much for this opportunity to celebrate the staff at the health department. Um, these folks, um, and I'll, let me introduce again, Mr. John Bresland, he's chair of the Board of Health. Um, Julie Bowserman, who's our Director of Nursing, and Spring Stillians, who's one of our um, LPNs. And um, year in, year out, these um, staff members really go above and beyond their job descriptions to um, keep the children of uh, and adults of Jefferson County uh, protected from vaccine-preventable diseases. Um, the, the, the way they respond um, to the need, particularly right around August as <laughs> the new school year is rolling around, um, to mount um, uh, uh, the, the type of effort that's required to cover all the children so that they can um, start school on time. Um, it is really incredible and astonishes me every year, and it seems like the numbers um, keep growing. I think uh, the one walk-in clinic um, just before school started, they did 90, 100, yeah. 99 or 100 students in one day. Um, and this is not your old military lineup and <laughs> you get in the arm and off you go. There's all kinds of documentation that's required, checking the records, making sure that um, these are appropriate vaccinations. So um, I just wanted to, to, to recognize them and, and allow you to recognize them as being um, really uh, tremendous unsung partners for the Board of Education. Um, so, and we had a, a number of people that uh, we will be able to pass on certificates for, but in particular, uh, I'm going to recognize Julie Bowserman and Spring Stillians. Thank you. Um, so. so, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Weren't you also part of the effort for the influenza vaccine exercise that we had over at Jefferson High School? Uh, uh, yes, in okay. entirely done by these folks, and it was it was actually a great success because we did a uh, threat preparedness exercise. Um, uh, practicing uh, a mass prophylaxis um, against anthrax, but we actually did it as a free vaccine, flu vaccine clinic. And we saw about 50, 50 people come through um, in early September uh, to Jefferson and be able to come in and help us practice our um, patient flow and also help prevent influenza. So that was great. We really appreciate the partnership with the schools um, and having access to the facilities for that type of operation. And I would point out, not just for the students' physical health, Dr. Dinn and his staff have been wonderful, both uh, the pilot that we ran over at Shepherdstown for mindfulness and some of the work that we're also doing at some of our elementary schools for students with uh, more active mental health and domestic needs, where uh, they're really being very proactive and helping us developing programming to support those kids in a, in a preventative way for their mental health and stability for a lifelong. So thank you very, it's very been, much for that. It's been a great working it's relationship. deeply appreciated. We really appreciate it. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Can we come around? I think doing something um, there will maybe put, push down Scott's laptop um, or something like that. Around around chairs. Chairs. Yeah, like, um, and then get the board to scoot in a little bit. That would be very great. Yeah. Perfect. The tight squeeze right there. Yes. Can you put it back there? It's like family photos. <laughs> <laughs> Thanksgiving family there pictures, <laughs> getting ready for Christmas <laughs> cards all over again. Perfect. The last thank you. Today. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thanks for that. Aren't you always supposed to be turkey? Thank you so much. Is that on TV? Yeah. I know. Thank I remember reading that somewhere. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. <laughs>
Okay, next I'm going to invite um, Miss Martin to come up and uh, introduce one of her um, teachers that has received an amazing recognition on her own. Good evening. So I would like to recognize Mrs. Mandy Weinbrenner. Come on up. <laughs> Mandy is our PE teacher at TA Lowry, and at the end of October, she attended a... Oh, she attended a conference at a PE conference at Shepherd College or Shepherd University, excuse me, and was awarded PE Teacher of the Year by the elementary, elementary PE <laughs> Teacher of the Year by the West Virginia Association of Physical Education, Health, Recreation, and Dance. So she was very excited, and we are very honored to have Mandy at our school. She also heads up our Student Government Association. She is a team player. She does our bus dismissal. And she does really anything you need her to do. She's a go-getter. She has great ideas, and we're very, very appreciative of her, and she is very, very deserving of this award. So thank you for letting thank her you. be recognized. Thank you. Get sure. the board in the picture. Whatever. Sure. Yeah, whatever works for you. Miss Martin, would you like to come on, Miss Martin? She's like, if I gotta go, if I gotta go, get into it. It's the team. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, thank you. So sweet. Awesome. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Oh my goodness. Hey, Dr. Gibson has seen me move around. I would. I would. Yeah, it's got sweet moves. I saw the problem. Actually, our partner specialist gets me. We're delighted to see him dance. We're super happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. We're on roll. That's our that's our third teacher of the year for the state. Mm -hmm. And so now, in the spirit of honoring our own, we have uh, two Spirit of Jefferson honorees, and I will start with our service personnel and invite um, Miss Joyce White to come up and introduce our um, first honoree. Good evening. Good evening. It's my honor and pleasure to present to you the second bus driver to win Spirit of Jefferson this year, Sharon Kogel. History about Sharon. She came to us uh, from another school system as a bus operator in 2010, and after subbing for two years uh, in 2012, she became the bus operator for bus 33, and she spent very happy times on bus 33 for the past. She's in her fifth year on that bus run. Um, a parent in the South Jefferson School community nominated Sharon for the award. And I just want to read, uh, thank you for sharing what the parent said, because it touched Sharon and it touched me as well. Sharon is absolutely amazing, and we're very lucky and blessed to have her with us. Sharon Kogel, the parent says, has gone far beyond all expectations of a bus driver. She not only makes sure that her daughters arrive to and from school, but makes sure they, that her sisters and nieces do as well. Time and time again, she's waited for her daughter at the bus stop. And when her oldest was in kindergarten on her first day of school, went back to the school to get her because she had missed the bus. As you know, for a mom, that's stressful, especially with kindergartner. She said she would have been in an emotional wreck, and so would her daughter if it wouldn't have been for Sharon. Sharon also has a lottery on her bus that she gives out every month, uh, prizes to one boy and one girl for showing the most respect and following the rules. And she said that helps her family help them understand that hard work can be rewarding. She also works at the Jefferson County Council on Aging, providing meals for seniors in the county. Not only does she take care of our youngest, but she takes care of our elderly. And to this parent and to me, these are the neediest in our populations. She's amazing at what she do, does and continues to do for our school community. She advocates for children that are assigned to her route to provide safe and friendly environment for the children to thrive in. She said that uh, the children on bus 33 never come home saddened due to bullying. And she instills safe driving techniques while responsibility for the children of the county. So thank you, Sharon. Thank you. So I know, I heard that. Perfect. Congratulations. Congratulations. And our fine, oh, yes, 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 yes. The certificate's nice, but the check is really, really, really beautiful. I agree. Thank you. Congratulations. And our final recognition for the evening, I'm going to invite uh, Ms. Deborah Corbett back up to make this presentation. Well, I'm very honored to uh, this evening to um, recognize our, one of our teachers, Ann Miller, for the Spirit of Jefferson Award. Um, Ann has been a teacher here in the county for 26 years. Uh, she's currently our kindergarten teacher. And I just want to say that, um, you know, Ann just really takes her job very seriously in his heart, if you know her. Um, she supports families that are, are in need. She supports them by buying food for them or supplies for them or clothes for them. And she just, she takes the men on as her own. We, for example, had a very sad situation last year with one of her students. And she, with her spirit and with her 
her commitment and caring just really, I think, lifted that that family on to to move on. And she still supports that family and and touches bases and brings meals to the family and and cares about the family. And and just, just that spirit kept us moving. It was a very emotional time for us. And we just didn't know how people were going to get through this, especially the family, without that strong spirit that she had to just to continue. You have to carry on. So also Ann does a lot in the school. She's chair of the wellness committee at, at school. And with that, she has just taken on uh, some, um, some different uh, activities and goals that she's partnered with with the community. Uh, this summer, she had um, worked with uh, community members and um, gotten us to, uh, where we had our blacktop on our playground was resurfaced. She got our walking path widened around the whole playground that was just wonderful. She worked with um, some community members and now we have above ground um, gardens. Um, I think they were just getting lettuce out of there before Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, she uh, also uh, was in cent uh, essential in buying a small shed to house the playground equipment outside so the kids could have easy access to getting the playground equipment. We bought benches for us so that those students that were walking and needed a little break had a place to sit for a minute while they were traveling across the path. I mean, all that was done by her initiating that, and um, we just really appreciate that. And just the spirit, once again, of her wanting to make grants in a better place. Um, she helps chair the fundraiser. She's been essential in the Mother's Day fundraiser that we've had for years and years that has helped towards our scholarship fund. Um, she's also chaired our cultural diversity committee that she helps with celebrating learning through our different cultures and that's been a big main event. So these are just some of the things that we want to just thank you for because it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort to do all these things that you do and just that it's it is it's it's just about the building of the spirit that you have that helps us to continue to want to be a part of Ransom and make it a better place too. And I don't know how you do it all, but you seem to get everything done and she's very organized with things too. So I'm just very proud that you were recognized for this Spirit Award. I think it was just well deserved and all of the dedication and all the heart and the work. And um, you can't take this woman away from Ransom. Mr. Blanc, we know that, right? One year we tried <laughs> you know, when we had to shuffle and move people around where it was, and her heart and her commitment is just so solid with us and just with what she believes in. Um, we just, we don't move her from ransom, just put it that way. Yes. So we thank you. Congratulations for being recognized as the Spirit of Jefferson Award. Thank okay. you. Okay. We love you. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm just glad that Ransom wasn't all about the sugar. You got some lettuce in that. Oh, yeah. 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 She balances us. That's wellness. She balances us out. Eat her lettuce. Thank you. Do we have a Thank you. Thank you. Are you here? Those are all the recognitions that I have. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much for coming and supporting your teammates at Ranson. Thanks. That's the Ranson spirit right there. Yes. Thank you, Ms. Spinagle. All right. Madam Superintendent, any comments? Other than being very thankful that it's always difficult to choose from among all the amazing people who do great work here to find recognitions every month. <laughs> I always think there were 50 last month and we're going to run out, and we just never do. So.
No. Okay. Approval of minutes. Do we have a motion to approve the minutes of the regular board meeting from November 13th? So moved. Second. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. <coughs> All right. Citizens' comments? We have none. Consent agenda. Do we have any changes to the consent yes, agenda? Yes, ma'am. We have a single amendment. If you will look at number 10 on the consent agenda, um, that uh, individual Miss Lee came in this morning and withdrew her request. All right. Do we have a motion on the adjusted consent agenda? Mm -hmm. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. And no unfinished business. No, ma'am. And then new business. Uh, first item on new business is a request to place an updated wellness policy out for public comment. And I believe that Mr. White is going to present some information to the board regarding that policy. Good evening, and thank you for allowing me to take just a moment of your time. Um, there are two things that we'd like to uh, consider adding to the local wellness policy. Um, both of them are basically mandated by the state of West Virginia. They told us, hey, you've got to put them in there. So we're listening and we're going to do it. Um, the first one um, is a new item uh, number four under our local wellness policy uh, concerning special dietary needs. This is something that we're already doing. Um, it's just the state wants us to include the language in our local wellness policy to say that we're doing it. Um, and I think you've got the policy there in front of you. Are there any questions about that? The long and short of it is, if a student has a special dietary need, um, the parent uh, needs to annually submit that documentation to the school so that it's on file. And the uh, second portion that's been added uh, is concerning um, food within the classrooms, particularly for classroom celebrations. And for this, um, well, I used to teach fourth grade for a number of years, so I consider it more of an elementary <laughs> topic. I don't know how many celebrations they're doing at the high schools or middle schools. Apparently but they're doing it nowhere but Ranson, because <laughs> <laughs> there's no food left. <laughs> uh, but, but basically, again, the state said uh, we need to include some language in our policy to address it. Now, they didn't tell us what we had to include. They're leaving it up to the local wellness committee to decide. Um, so we've included language in there um, stating that classroom celebrations should be limited limited to three times per year, um, and that they should be more movement-based, like a parade, a game, a small group activity, as opposed to just a smorgasbord of food available for students to eat. Um, we also put something in there to include that if food is served, um, we would prefer healthy snacks such as fruits, vegetables, and other non-processed whole foods, um, as opposed to sweets and baked goods only. We also said that water is the recommended drink rather than sodas, juices, and other sweetened beverages. And we kind of borrowed some of that based on uh, what the state recommends. So uh, those are the only two amendments that we've made to the local wellness policy. And to entertain any questions you might have about either of those. First of all, when you said good evening, you sent shivers down my spine because I thought we were having a snow day tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I can continue. I can continue with the uh, the rant there, but I'll spare you. <laughs> I'm just so used to that message on my phone and good my evening, cell Jefferson phone. Good evening, Jefferson County. This is Mr. White from Jefferson County Schools in West Virginia. Exactly. Exactly. So, so we're encouraging healthy food, but we're not banning cupcakes. Is that? The idea, when, short yeah, when the wellness committee met, we decided that it's very hard to police that, and we don't want to be the food police. So the language that we chose to go with is, is a strong recommendation for healthy snacks, um, fruits, vegetables, non-processed. But we're not going to all out say, thou shalt not eat sweets, because it's really hard to, to get a handle on that. And teaching in the classroom myself for a lot of years, and being in the elementary school particularly, um, sometimes it happens anyway, mm -hmm. truthfully. And so we don't want to set the principals and or the teachers up for failure to be in non-compliance with the policy should a parent choose to bring something in unbeknownst to the teacher until the day of. It creates a, a difficult circumstance. So that's why we chose that language. I just hope based on the way it's rated in 
written and, and based on what your comments are, that we don't send out a message to principals to harass teachers to say, thou shalt not bring cupcakes to my building. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? Like cupcakes are not a bad thing. Cookies are not a bad thing. It's everything in moderation. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like, although I appreciate the strong language, I just want there to be an overarching understanding that it's okay that if you have a lighter. Christmas party mm -hmm. and bring somebody brings homemade something that, or not homemade something but like you know again a cookie or some correct. or a cupcake and, or and I, I wholeheartedly agree uh, with that sentiment Ms. Ogden the wellness committee was an equal split um, some of us you know sort of agreed more like along those lines and others were like we've really got an obesity problem in the state of west virginia so we tried to come up with a, a nice resolution um where everybody was happy to make it a win-win and so that's the way that's the, the reason why it's written so, as such i agree with mrs ogden and i appreciate you writing it in that way thank you anything else mr Bonk, i'm sorry what were you saying no, i was just gonna say that sounds a lot more liberal than what we've been used to for many many years where yes. it really was don't you dare bring that cupcake yes. into the middle of you. I, mean, that, I was afraid you're going to say that we're not loosening the the reins too much people think oh we can bring cupcakes in the building right. <laughs> no, right. actually, right. Right. well and it used to really uh, get down to the nitty gritty it's got to meet these guidelines and this number of grams of sugar and this number of grams of calories and and it's like you know, nobody's going to take the time to check those nutrition facts realistically before they bring in a treat uh, so we took that all into consideration as we sat down as a committee of us um, before we um, so very deliberately wrote it like this to make everybody happy Good. Third graders will be extremely happy that carrot sticks don't count as celebration food. So, good job. Yes. <laughs> All right. okay. So, do we have a motion to put that on um, public comment? So moved. Second. Excellent. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. White. Action on approval to cancel the second regular board meeting in December on December 25th. Mm -hmm. And again, oh, I'm, I'm certain that that would be considered a gift. Maybe not. We're not getting a gift on the 25th. We can. I tell you what, you be here at 6.55 and see what turns up in your stocking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do we have a motion? Oh, Gary made a motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Number C. Hey. Next up, we have the lovely and talented uh, Ms. Merle, our chief financial officer, who will be uh, speaking to you about our uh, the leadership team's uh, recommendation for designating unassigned FY17 unassigned funds. Madam Vice President, Madam Superintendent, Board Members. Um, this evening we are here to discuss our fiscal year 17, which was our last fiscal year, carryover. Um, typically, the second board meeting in October, we do this. It's a, about a month late, um, but we had uh, some, some things that occurred and we wanted to make sure we had all the inf information we needed in order to do it. Um, our fiscal year ended up with a carryover balance of 3.5 million, a little over 3.5 million. And uh, the leadership team is asking that we designate uh, about 1.4 million of that um, for specific items and the remainder, the remaining 2.1 million to be transferred into the board designated for um, use designated by the board at a later time. The paper that I've given you, the back of it um, has the approved position since the beginning of this fiscal year. Um, it lists the board dates that they were approved and some description on them to hopefully jog your memory. Um, they total $490,000 um, and as we know we didn't have increased enrollment this year which we had budgeted for $250,000. That is another line item that we're asking for. Special, special education has had some increased in services um, and we are asking for $465,000 to supplement their budget. The HR compensation study which the board requested 
three or four months ago. Um, Mr. Pettiford is getting ready to send that RFP out. We are asking for $60,000 to do a comprehensive market study that will also include updated job descriptions for all classifications in the system. Um, in addition, we've had some legal uh, expenditures above and beyond the retainer um, contract that Dr. Gibson negotiated. Um, the past two years, we've had a high volume of grievances, due processes, and mediations. And in, in addition, we've had some others. I think we renegotiated our lease, um, our annex lease, and um, we had looked at some land that cost a little additional. Um, they were um, services outside of our contract, and we we're asking to supplement the legal budget by 100000 um, In addition, this is our second year. Uh, last year, with our carryover, the business office or our uh, central office requested $50,000 for automation, and um, I think Mr. Pettifer and I had a little bet on that, and he has done well <laughs> to automate m many of our services in HR. Um, we're asking for an additional second year uh, supplement of $50,000, and he has currently two projects on the horizon. We actually had a conference call today um, trying to connect all of our systems within uh, the central office to help us be more efficient. Um, other than that, um, the remaining $2.1 million would transfer to the board designated, and the board designated then has to, uh, we have to come to the board to request permission to use those funds. Any questions? Beth, in the future, uh, new board approved positions, can we get that split into special ed positions, into sure. regular classroom positions? Absolutely. Yep, I can do that and send it out to you. You can see that the majority of them are related to special education. I think um, at least what I've seen at a high level is more specialized services. Are, are we sending more and more children to Grafton and Cedar Ridge and Laurel? Um, Laurel? If you look at, I tried. Uh, if you look at the breakdown for the supplement, you can see that about half of it is um, is saying exactly that. You can see Aurora, Laurel Hall, Cedar Ridge, Grafton, those are all increases in student services outside the school system. Um, the e-therapy is actually a different way to provide speech services um, to the students, but about half of them, um, I think you're seeing um, what I call specialized services that can't be handled within the school system. Uh, and Cindy certainly can give you all the details, but at a high level, I would say yes. Do we know how many students are being serviced by the e-therapy program? Yes, ma'am, we can, we can get the board an, an exact number. Okay. Do you have a ballpark number or no? I, I do not, perhaps. I do not. Yeah. We okay. get quite a rough estimate. For me to guess that. We okay. can get total number of speech students and then break down how many of them are being served directly by a speech therapists and how many of them are being served by e-therapy. Okay, thank you. The, I mean, I'm just curious what, how many students this number is servicing. Does that make sense? Mm, I could, we could, I could ballpark or tell you about speech is probably close to a million dollars. And you have, how many total speech, a million dollars in services in total, but you have your total speech count, right? It doesn't break it down to e therapy, but we also have services provided in-house, services provided by contracted, we right. provide. And I, and I understand just, that this yeah. is not comprehensive. I was just curious to see how many were actually benefiting from the e-therapy. Yeah. Yes, I can do that for you. Thank you. All right. So you need action to, yes. on the recommendation for the designation? Yes, ma'am. All right. So do we have a motion for um, the recommendation for the designation of the fiscal year 17 unassigned funds? So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you, Ms. Thank Brown. you. I will also um, point out that the state recently uh, published that there would be no mid-year cut this year, uh, which is wonderful, uh, considering present. that we had funds set aside and uh, 
given that we've been very fiscally responsible and as you saw in the last presentation we've closed that financial gap and the carrying over another 2.1 million dollars to put uh, aside and to help supplement next year's budget will be greatly appreciated wow that's great there. that's the right direction all right item d personal carry thank you Ms. world D, if I'm not mistaken, is the personal care aid? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. I don't have the agenda in front of me. This is, I think I've included as well as uploaded for you the um, anecdotal records that we had taken over the months, as well as the kindergarten student that is at, has been diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, chronic constipation, oral aversion, and an autism spectrum disorder. Um, and at this time, this child is being fed via G2 mm -hmm. and is in need of assistance. Okay. Do I have a motion on the approval for the personal carry for the student at Driswood? So moved. Second? Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> Opposed? All right. Now we have the sign language interpreter. Yes, we have a wonderful student that's joining our community who has just turned three. Um, this position will be starting on January 3rd. We've met with the mother and we would like to get everything in place prior. So this position will be um, posted but not starting till January 3rd. Did you say this child is three? Yes, just three turned three. Old. Three years old. Wow. Move. All right, second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mayor. Possible executive session? Yes, ma'am. We have an executive session both for an action uh, on an employee matter and uh, a student matter. And we do expect the board to take action back in open session. All right. So do we have a motion to go into executive session? Two minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Let's just take a two-minute break, and then we'll come back in executive session. Okay. 